Are you looking to grow your own pineapple? Well, you're in luck. Today, we are going to teach you all you need to know to harvest and grow pineapples just like this one. Aloha, everybody. I'm Sean with Homestead in Hawaii. Thanks so much for joining me today. I want to share with you Everything I know about growing pineapples. I've been growing them out here in Hawaii for about 10 years. I'm on the wet side of the Big Island, just outside Hilo, growing in super rocky soil. And you'll see that growing pineapples here is super easy. I'll even show you a few techniques that you can grow pineapples at home, even if you don't live in Hawaii. If you're in a cooler climate and just wanna grow some tropical fruit, I'll show you how to do it too. You can see my pineapple patch here. It's about uh, 10 feet long, it's six to eight feet wide. It is a ground layer where we have um, breadfruit tree just growing just beyond it and a few even understory ground covers kind of weaving their way through. So it's almost like a ground cover shrub layer in our permaculture food forest. I just love the pineapple. Some people may not like this spiky look, but I dig it and I think it's a really cool plant to have on the homestead. First off, I want to show you a little bit about the structure of the plant. Now you can see the main part of the plant growing out of the ground is right down here. And then it's, it's grown up. It's created a little stalk, a flower stalk right here. And it produced this pineapple. It sets flowers in December here in Hawaii and takes about six to eight months before it's ready to harvest. And you can see right here are a couple of what we call keikis. Here's one here. Here's another. This one part might be a slip, which is like regrowth of the plant growing from the plant itself is rather than opposed to at the base of the pineapple fruit. For most people, this is what they're going to do. They're going to go to the grocery store or the farmer's market, buy themselves a pineapple, and then harvest this top. That's how you're going to be able to start your garden. So let's get to it. Let's harvest this pineapple. How do we know this pineapple is ready? Well, I like to get in there and give it a good sniff. Mmm, this one smells like pineapple. And so if it's got a nice smell like that, it's ready to go. All you gotta do is just get in there with the knife and just cut right at the base. And there you have it. You can see the two cakeys, pups, suckers, whatever you wanna call them, growing off at the base here. And you can see the, the slip that's growing here. And now I could just leave this growing off of the old stem system, which will allow this plant to really start to kick into high gear and utilize the roots that are already in there. If things are getting to a little, a little too uh, thick in here, I can also harvest this by cutting it off the main plant. And that's what we'll do today. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of the old plant away so that you can see what I'm doing. So you can see this slip here and I will cut it off the parent plant. So this slip is also something that you could replant and grow. And this part of the plant, it's pow. It's not gonna produce any more um, fruit, so you might as well just pull it out and say thank you for its service. Okay, so we harvested this pineapple. You can see that it has three areas to propagate. It has two keikis on the bottom. It has this part on the top. And also when we were digging it out from the parent plant, another keiki fell off that we can plant. And we had this slip, as you saw how we cut it out off the parent plant. This guy is gonna be able to root as well. In the succession of things, the quickest fruiting part of the plant is gonna be the slip. If you want fruit within one year to 18 months, this is what you're going to want to plant. This is what the professional growers plant. And then we have the keiki. These pups here are going to produce within 18 months. And then the top, which most of you are going to start your gardens out with, is going to take about two years. 
And in order to harvest these guys, it's pretty simple. This one on the bottom, you can, you can just rip these guys right off, no problem. This one on the bottom, no problem, ripped right off. And in fact, the one at the top doesn't even need to be cut off. You can just give it a nice grab on, give it a nice twist. And there you have another growing section. Now these plants could be a little spiky. If you don't have tough hands like me, go ahead and wear gloves. That's highly suggested. But now that we have this pineapple top, let's start with that. Most people are gonna be propagating their pineapples by pineapple top. So you saw how we just pretty much twisted this off the top of our pineapple. And now what we wanna do is we're going to um, just pull off the bottom three layers of the leaves, kind of ripping them off to the, as you turn to the side. You can see here, not ripping straight down, but ripping sideways and across. I'm gonna take off the first three layers of the leaves here. All right, and so now we have an area here where the roots will be able to come out of pretty easily. And it's nice and clean. You can um, set this out to dry for a day or two. You can just toss it in your garden, just on the surface if you want to, or you can actually dig it right down into the ground, just covering up this bottom layer, maybe propping it up with some rocks if you need to. You can do all those things. It's really easy to do. Another way that we can propagate this guy and to be sure that we can grow them. And if you're in a colder climate, you're not blessed like we are here in Hawaii with perfect climate for pineapples, you can set this in water. So let's go ahead and see how that's done. All right, so we have our pineapple top that we ripped off the top of our pineapple. And now here's the really cool part. For those of you who do not live in the tropics or just don't have the room to grow pineapple at their home, you live in an apartment or something, this is for you. It's still easy to grow pineapple. All we have to do is take this piece and add it to this. Just make sure the base of it is in the water and within a week you should have roots growing and within two weeks you can replant this out into uh, a pot and you can grow this pineapple in a warm sunny window if you live in a cold climate like a south facing window or just out on your apartment and um, on your patio takes up you know very little space if you're growing it inside a pot you could get a nice small pineapple out of it and if you want you could even transplant this out into the garden if you live in the tropics there is an easier way to grow pineapples so let's go outside and check out how we're going to do something that's even easier than this okay i'm going to show you how we plant out our slip and cakeys directly into the garden for those of you that live in a nice warm climate this is going to be what you're going to do it's really simple to do with the cakeys you can see the bottoms already pretty well calloused over you don't need to do too much so what we're just going to do is just stick them in the ground and they're going to grow that's all there is to it okay we're going to first plant the slip you're going to find yourself some good soil remember make sure that you prepare it with a little bit of animal manure about a month ahead of time and then you can plant your slip you can see this one is the slip. We're gonna just plant it directly into the soil and it should be able to do just fine just by sticking it in the ground like that. That's how you plant a slip. It's really that easy. When it comes to fertilizing your pineapple plants, liquid fertilizer is best. The pineapples like to feed through their leaves. So we got some fish emulsion, we're gonna mix it with some water and then we're gonna pour it into our pineapples from the top, concentrating on the leaves. Whatever gets around and in the soil is okay. That'll feed the plants supplementally, but primarily they're gonna feed through the leaves. So that's how we're gonna to wanna to feed these pineapples. 
So thanks for joining me today. If you're interested in learning more, please hit the subscribe button down below. Like this video and more will come up in your feed. And be sure to check out the videos right here. There's one on growing sweet potatoes that I'm sure you'll enjoy. It'll help you increase your crop and get you what you need to know for growing sweet potatoes here in Hawaii. Aloha everyone. Till next time, a hui ho. Thanks for joining me.